Welcome to Tony Morgan's kitchen. As you can see, I was right. He's asleep. I'll have to do the work again for him. <laughs> Let's have a good look around this Victorian kitchen and compare it to yours. Firstly, life in Tommy's time was much harder. There was no gas, electricity or petrol engines. With few shops and no supermarkets, country people had to rely on what they made and the food they grew themselves. Can you see the bowl being heated over the fire? Well, today, you lot probably use a microwave. In Tommy's day, a wood or coal fire was permanently burned in the iron grate to cook food, boil water and heat the house. Why do you think he's put the bread and cheese in that wooden cage up in the ceiling? Rats! That's why! That's made you ladies jump! Just look at that lovely side of pork hanging up. Bit too salty for me. Tommy always has a box of salt by the fire to keep it dry. This is then used to keep the food fresh. Today, you lot use fridges to keep them fresh. In the winter evenings, when I curl up by the fire, the oil lamp casts airy shadows around the room. I often give a bark just to reassure myself. You wouldn't have this problem with your new fandangled electrics. Can you see the toilet? No, not inside Tommy's house. Over there by the trees. He calls it an earth closet. Imagine in winter running out of that at night. Visitors tell me that nowadays for entertainment, they watch something that has moving pictures. I think you call it a telly. Tommy now reads the Bible and sings Welsh hymns. I prefer it when he reads the Bible. <laughs> Look at that lovely lot of fresh veg. He'll enjoy that tonight. Visitors tell me that you eat out of fridges. In Tommy's day, food safely stored at harvest time was needed to feed the family throughout the whole winter. Every Monday, Gladys comes around to clean. Just soap, water, and plenty of elbow grease. She's quick to shoo me out, though, with that broomstick of hers. Modern-day Gladyses tell me that they use something in a container that kills all known germs. One thing I enjoy after a hard day on the mountains is my bowl of water from the farm well in front of the fire. Today, I'm told, you even use water to heat your homes. Central heating, I think it's called. You also buy water in small plastic bottles because your water is not nice to drink. Give me my old well water any time. Can you see the well we use outside? If I'm very wet, old Tommy always makes sure I'm dry with my favourite towel. Gladys washes my towel in that washing dolly over there. I hear today it's all done in automatic washing machines that even dry the clothes as well. Whatever next? Hey, hey, I can hear the shires. Come on, Tommy, it's time for work. I hope you lot enjoy meeting the shires next door. Goodbye.